back everybody um today um we're gonna start off where we left off last time which is um the Stasis trial um this is our fourth shrine so we're almost done with um that part so let's start the video so first you want to Stasis that so you can go across and just undo that but you don't have to do it it runs out of time anyways and um you want to come over here Stasis that ball and then let go of it and just run past it. And just so you know, there's a treasure chest up there, right here. Mm, I don't remember it being anything good, but it's good for like the start of the game because uh, oh, yeah, travel shield. So because you don't have a lot of good shield, um, a lot of good shields at the start of the game. So basically, I would recommend buy um, get all the shields you can get in this part. Um, it's pretty obvious for me. Well, when I did it, it was pretty obvious. So what you have to do, you stasis, you go out to it, and it shows hit. So you hit it um, a few times, and you unstasis it, and you just walk across, and there you are at the shrine. See, easy. So, yeah. Okay, man, just give me a spirit orb. Okay, now that we're done with that shrine, um, the old man should show up now with the park glider, and he should tell us um something right here. Um, imagine X on your app with the four shrines at the end of the points, and um make the no point and stuff. Yeah, I do understand. Where to let connect the shrines across? Blah blah blah. Okay, let's do this. So what you want to do is open your map, and right here, um, it's at the Temple of Time. I've done this before. Oh, you have to, um, you draw the lines. It's actually connected. So um, yeah. Now that we're here, um, we're gonna go in. And yeah, first, ooh, oh, I see that guardian in the water. First, first, I'm gonna show you guys that cool trick I was talking about. So what you gotta do. Is take Cronus, uh, Cryonesis, and um, pop that guardian off the water like that, and it should drop a bunch of guardian parts. And if you um, if you do a, if you use a bug, this is not a bug, but if you use a bug, um, you could get like more, but it lags your game a lot. So, what you want to do, you have to um, you want to go into the Temple of Time. And then all you gotta do is um go to that statue. I'm gonna mark that tower just because I know I'll be going there. Um, go to the statue, say hi, and um pray. Okay, now um just wait for a second. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Now we trade in our four spirit orbs for um a stamina vessel. That's why I recommend, like, depends on what you think, but I recommend stamina vessel just because you can, like, get, climb on, like, climbing. I recommend, like, that because it takes really a lot of stamina for climbing. But hearts, if you're not that good at fighting, um, I would recommend that. And, um, you hear, um, the old man calling us right now. Hey, hello, dude. And what's up, blue light? What's up, blue light man? What's that? Okay, now, oh, we gotta move, make it up there. So we want to come around this corner. There's um a ladder here because climbing ladders don't take stamina, or it, like it doesn't take stamina. But you could um still jump to make you go faster. So what you want to do is not fall in these holes. Climb up. Come on, Link. And um, walk straight to him over there. And boom, um, almost there, Link. And um, I think there's some treasure. Oh my god, what? Link, are you kidding me? This is the second time we fought. You died to fall damage, man. You, you have to stop dying to fall damage. Okay, now that we made it here, um, let's talk to the old man. Yeah. 
Uh, so guys, this is when I realized that I didn't have sound in the game. So I took a clip from YouTube for you guys to watch. So yeah, enjoy. And it's the exact same thing, so don't worry. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then. The time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The Champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link. 
You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Thank you for watching and have a good day.